everybody and welcome all. This is about the first time I'm doing something like this, talking about like an upcoming movie and sharing my thoughts on it. The reason I'm doing this is because there are things I just have to get off my chest about this upcoming Halloween movie. Now understand, I am not a huge fan of the original franchise. I like most of the movies, but there are only a handful I would say that I love, and not the ones everyone else loves either. So maybe my opinion won't matter much to you diehard fans out there, but Still want to give my thoughts on this as a horror fan because right now, if you are a horror fan, there is not a more hyped, talked about movie in the world right now. Every day, pretty much every hour, people are sharing the trailer, production stills, talking about this movie like it's going to be the second coming of Christ. And for me, I just don't think there's enough to warrant or justify that hype. In fact, I'm scared we're arriving at like a phantom menace situation here where people are going to see this movie convince themselves that it's good because they've already convinced themselves that it's good and just let it sit there for a while until everybody finally comes to terms with the actual quality of the movie and keep in mind i'm not trying to trash on this movie or rain on anybody's parade i'm just trying to tell people to manage their expectations a little bit more because this movie could be the greatest thing ever i don't know nobody knows we haven't seen it yet but all the information that they've given us everything we've seen for me personally, I'm just not excited by any of it, and I'm going to share why. Now, I'm not going to go into my history with the filmmakers behind this movie, that being David Gordon Green and Danny McBride. Now, they're two comedic personalities that I've never been a huge fan of in the past, but hey, they could surprise me very well. I didn't think that Jordan Peele would make one of the greatest war films of the last decade, but he did, in my opinion at least. So who knows what could happen? These guys could be the saviors of the Halloween franchise, who knows? But what I will say is that right from the get-go, I was very skeptical about this movie. As soon as I heard that they were gonna bring in Jamie Lee Curtis and that it was gonna be like this final confrontation, this epic showdown between her character, Laurie Strode, and Michael Myers, one thing came to my mind. The series has done this before, with lackluster results in my opinion. And even if H2O, the slice of white bread that it is, if that didn't exist and this premise hadn't been done before, it would still reek of desperation to me because it sounds like they're just throwing in a familiar face to excite fans, to get them in the theaters, to convince them that there's more going on in this movie that there might be. Because everything relating to the plot of this movie, the premise, it doesn't sound like they came up with anything really original. It's just Michael escapes and he goes after Lori again. I don't need to see that. I've seen that done plenty of times in both the original series and the remakes. Now you can say they're going to do something different with it this time, that Lori is going to be more of a warrior type, and that looks like it will be true. But with the plot that they've given us and the context that this movie is going to take place in, I do not think that that direction makes any sense at all. Because if you didn't know, this movie is wiping away all of the sequels. Even Halloween 2 didn't happen. So that means that A, they are no longer brother and sister, and B, Michael Myers is no longer a supernatural entity, he is just a regular person. So the fact that Laurie Strode has been obsessing over this guy over the past 40 years to me makes no sense when you reduce their relationship down to that one night. Because think about it, what happened in that first Halloween? Michael Myers broke out of an asylum, he stalked Laurie for no reason, he killed her friend for no reason, and then he tried to kill her and failed. Now that's a traumatic experience for anybody to undergo, don't get me wrong, that would obviously leave some scars on Laurie Strode. But to turn her into this warrior, and to build this movie up to this epic final showdown, or should I say the second epic final showdown, I guess, to reduce their relationship to this one night thing, it just, it's too incidental and it's too random to have any sort of dramatic weight. And of course, John Carpenter didn't want them to be brother and sister anymore, and a lot of people were happy about that. But if you're not going to make them brother and sister, make a story that still makes sense without that plot element, because right now, it's like they're trying to have their cake and eat it too. Another thing is the fact that Michael Myers being a, a regular person, not a supernatural entity, not only does that sort of undermine his presence, but that goes back and makes that original Halloween movie make no sense at all. So you're telling me that a regular person ripped a headstone out of a graveyard and carried it off by himself. You're telling me that a regular person pinned a person to a wall with a kitchen knife. You're telling me that a regular person was stabbed in the neck, stabbed in the torso, shot six times in the chest, and fell off a two-story balcony and just walked away from all that. Sure. Also, the idea that Michael Myers, a guy who killed three people 40 years ago, is still this infamous cultural figure in a day and age where people use each other for target practice on a daily basis. That just doesn't work. That just doesn't make sense. That's not fitting this story in any kind of 
recognizable universe to our own that is being completely fantastical and detaching itself from any kind of reality. And I'm not saying that I even liked all the things that they were dropping. I thought the sibling twist in Halloween 2 was ludicrously stupid. I thought it was one of the dumbest things I'd ever seen in any kind of major horror franchise. But, again, you can't have your cake and eat it too. You can't make that kind of a change and then try and still construct a story that would work only on that logic, on the basis of that plot element. If John Carpenter didn't want them to be brother and sister, he shouldn't have made them brother and sister in the second movie. If he'd wanted Michael to be killed off, he should have killed him off in the first movie, not established him as a supernatural entity, because the first movie operated entirely on that logic. To me, this is a case of filmmakers trying to do multiple things at once, please multiple fans at once, trying to appeal to as many people as possible, because this franchise has not been universally liked since like 1988 by the latest. So for people who like the brother-sister thing, that's gone. But there's still enough of that plot element, still enough H2O in there to keep them satisfied. And for people who want Michael Myers' supernatural qualities to be downplayed, well, they got satisfied. But I can bet you there are going to be plenty of things in this movie that would only make sense if he were a supernatural person. All of that being said, there is still plenty of chance that this movie will be good. Hell, it might even be great. And that would be awesome if it was. But all the hype surrounding it, all of the people talking about how great it's going to be and how much they love it and love the new mask, even though it just looks like the first mask but a little older. To me, that's just entirely unwarranted and unjustified, and it's hard for me to sit through all this talk when I can't see anything to back it up. Maybe it's because I'm burnt out on the whole nostalgia craze going on. We have to revive every old property that people like, and for me, I would rather see cinema move forward. Construct a new horror icon. Make a new horror villain that people are going to remember for years and years to come. Don't keep recycling these older guys. I mean, I get it. I do. People want to see Michael Myers again. But lightning doesn't strike twice, and if this movie just spends the entirety of its running time trying to recapture the spirit of that original movie from 1978, I think it's going to fall flat on its face and it's going to end up like H2O, just this mediocre sequel that reminds you of a much better movie.